Now to a problem plaguing NYCHA and those who live in New York City housing. Officials say the numbers of people, the number of people falling behind on their rent is up, and the housing authority is losing hundreds of millions of dollars because of that. But we spoke to some residents who explained it was the conditions in their apartments that made them fall behind on payments. Eyewitness News reporter Tom Negevin has the story. Maria Arnold says she'd invite us in, but the place is a mess. Take a look at the photo she took. Yes, that does appear to be black mold. The result, she says, of a leak upstairs that the housing authority took years to fix. This is her stack of work orders. Even worse, she says, she's sick. I'm on a lot of asthma medication. As a matter of fact, I developed COPD. Because of the black mold? Because here. of the black mold. And it's not just Maria. In fact, far from it. With the housing, it's been a hell, you know, I've had any little thing that I've accomplished, I've always had to get support and help to get things done. True, her $243 a month rent is months behind, but Maria and the housing authority are in a bit of a standoff right now over repairs as unpaid rents in public housing hit a record high. According to the state comptroller's report, rent collection was at 88% just before the pandemic. It's at about 62% now, equal to over half a billion dollars in arrears. Money NYCHA needs, saying in a statement, it understands the challenges that residents with rental arrears are facing. However, tenant rent is one third of NYCHA's operating budget. And without this income, the authority cannot sustain itself. Anti-poverty advocates looking for a solution they say government should be providing. This is a situation that we sort of put ourselves in. And um, I think it's up to the city and state to, to try and figure out a way to get us out of it, unless we want to increase homelessness. For now, NYCHA has limited the evictions to the households with the highest dollar amounts owing, but among those, the average is already $7,000. And climbing, more than most could ever hope to pay.